Hey, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the show. As you know, my name is Rick Leaf and I'm the host of Soul As a sommelier and a slam poet, it just seemed like the most natural thing to do. I'm writing industry tasting notes all the time, but I wanted to have a little bit more fun with that, so that's how this whole idea came together, and I think we should jump straight into our first wine of the day. Oh, there's a full bootied Pinot Gris. I mean full bodied. <laughs> what do I? For I can't deny the way the colors move side to side doesn't catch my breath and draw my eye like a moth to the flame. I'm drawn by this richly textured bouquet on display for all the world to taste and see. Oh, you saucy little minx. Forty knots, Pinot Gris. What do we know about Pinot Gris? We know that it's grown around the world from Germany, France, Italy, all the way down to New Zealand. Actually, in the year 2000, Pinot Gris surpassed Chardonnay as the number one most planted and produced white wine grape in the state of Oregon. And of course, up in the cool climate of Canada, where Forty Knots Vineyard and Estate Winery is on, located in the Comox Valley of Vancouver Island. This is a great place for this wine. As a mutation of Pinot Noir. Pinot Gris produces a soft, uh, gently perfumed white wine with more body and color than most other white wines, so that's why I had fun just playing with the whole full bootied uh, idea. Great first wine of the day. Let's hop from cool climate over to Spain for our second wine of the day. Black cherry leather, tobacco leaves and spice. Johnny Depp or Tempranillo, it's just a roll of the dice. Close your eyes, open your mind, taste the Rioja heat steeped in ancient vines. This is the pirate's go-to wine when all the rum is gone. Valdepeñas. All right, Anciano, Valdepeñas. All right, Tempranillo, the most widely planted red wine grape in Spain. Black cherry leather and spice is actually a fairly common uh, tasting note descriptors for this particular wine and region. It sounded like uh, the ingredients for a clone for Captain Jack Sparrow. I really like Tempranillo, I like Anciano, Valdepeñas, this great uh, region. You just picture the heat and the, the old ancient vines have been growing wine and producing wine in uh, Spain for thousands of years. If you're going to start with the whole uh, piratey sort of uh, motif at the beginning of a slam, one should carry that through like a good wine to the long lingering finish. Let's go to our third wine of the day. Gaviano Rosato from the heart of Tuscany comes to me. Sangiovese whispers sweet nothings that amount to something intensely brilliant, lightly bold. Truth be told, in the absence of friends, I have this friend to hold. Aviano Rosato. In Italy, it's known as Rosato. In the New World, you probably call it Rosé. Typically when they're producing a white wine, the grapes are crushed and the juice is fermented apart from the skins. In red wine, it's completely the opposite. They macerate the grapes and leave them in contact with the skins to extract as much of the color and tannins and varietal characteristics as they can. For a rosé, or a rosa, it's produced by leaving the juice in contact with the skins for a very limited period of time, like maybe eight to 12 hours, that just pulls some of that color and some of that um, characteristic out of the skins. It gives it a little bit more weight. Uh, this is a great go-to wine for the summer if you're going to be sitting around on a patio. Hope you're enjoying your wine Wednesday or whatever day of the week you might happen to be watching this. I highly recommend any of these wines, the Pinot Gris from Forty Knots, uh, the Gabbiano Rosato from Italy, or of course the big piratey uh, Tempranillo from Anciano and the Valdepeñas region of Spain. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, leave them below. And if you want to subscribe or give it a little one or two thumbs up, just make sure that you can hang on to the stem of your glass while you do that. A pinky extended means that you're a very cultured and refined individual. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you again next week. <laughs> I full body. Or do I? Can't deny the depths of color. Oh. Tuscany comes to me. Sergio missed you. I mean full body. I mean full body. Or do I? I have this friend to